Transfigured on the mount, O Christ our God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be Transfigured, where we invite you to live a new life in Christ. We pray that this episode is a blessing to you and will inspire you to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ. We invite you to join us for worship or study at the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida, where visitors are always welcome. We'll be back in a few moments to share some more information about our ministry. My brothers and sisters, this morning we hear in the gospel a great example of how we should be living our life. Tomorrow is New Year's Day, and I'm sure because it is our tradition, many of us are going to make New Year's resolutions today. And we're going to promise all sorts of things in our life. Most, and I wrote them in your, in your bulletin today, most of the popular New Year resolutions have to do with physical things. We want better jobs. We want a nicer house. We want even, even better bodies. We want to do something always for ourselves. But when was the last time in our New Year resolutions we made a promise to God to make our soul stronger and to somehow change our life for our soul's sake? How many times have we said, I'm going to pray more this year? I'm going to help more poor people this year. I'm going to come to church services more this year. We have plenty of them, by the way, to choose from, not just Sundays. This morning in the Gospel, it is the beginning of the Gospel of Mark. And he tells us the story of John the Baptist. And there's something that we need to always remember about John the Baptist, and that is Christ himself calls John the Baptist the greatest man ever to be born of a woman. There is no one greater on the face of the earth than John the Baptist. And listen to the words that John uses today because this is the example for us in our Christian lives. I am not worthy to stoop down and loose the sandals. He was speaking about God, and we have to remember in those days, they didn't have streets and things like we have. They didn't have bathrooms like we have, indoor plumbing. There was all sorts of things in the streets flowing freely. I don't want to get into too many details. And when people walked around, naturally they walked through all of that garbage in the streets. And in every household there was a servant whose only job it was was to take care of people's shoes and their feet when they came into the house. It was the lowest servant of all the servants in the household. And so when John the Baptist says, I'm not even worthy to untie his shoes, we have to understand what he's saying. He's saying that the lowest slave is more worthy than him. What an amazing example for our Christian life. Most of us live the opposite. We go through our life promoting ourselves. Oh, I want that job. I'm worthy of that. I'm worthy of this. I'm worthy of that. I'm more worthy than that person, than that person. But if we want to take the example from the gospel and if we want to live the life that Christ himself said was the greatest man ever to be born of a woman, 
then we would lower ourselves and raise up the others. What a beautiful New Year's resolution it would be if instead of our New Year's resolutions being about our, our dream vacation or our home or any of the physical things, how beautiful would our life be if our New Year's resolution was, I'm going to be more like John the Baptist. And we're going to hear story after story of John the Baptist in the coming days as we prepare for the Feast of Epiphany. And over and over again, John the Baptist gives us the example, I am not worthy. At one time, he even says to his own disciples, he points to Christ and he says, there is the one I've been talking about. Go and follow him. And he fades away. This needs to be our call, my brothers and sisters, in the Christian life. That true sense of humility and love and patience that John the Baptist expresses in this morning's gospel. No more self-promotion. Let's promote God. And when somebody lifts us up, when somebody gives us a compliment, oh, kalos ise, veni me kalos. What a wonderful job you did. Ah, I could have done better. But we have to mean it in our hearts. This is how we can prepare our soul to truly live in union with God, to follow the example of John the Baptist. Now that's a New Year's resolution that we can get behind and that we can follow through day after day after day. And when we make a mistake, we always have holy confession. If we make a mistake with our other New Year's resolution, oh, I didn't go to my vacation, oh, I didn't do this, those physical things, we don't have to worry about confession. So we didn't go on our dream vacation. But the church gives us that wonderful mysterion, that wonderful sacrament to confess to the church in front of the icon of Christ. What a great opportunity God has for us. Have a blessed, more spiritually beneficial year in 2018 for the glory of God. Amen. As far as they could bear it. Be Transfigured is a production of Be Transfigured Ministries in cooperation with the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Tarpon Springs, Florida. We depend upon your generosity to maintain our ministry. You can make a safe online donation when you visit our website, liveanewlifeinchrist.org.